Hello. Question 5. In question 5, our in the interest here is to assess whether two events or two samples which are collected before and after an event, whether in fact there is a significant change of the values after the event compared with the before event. So this is what we call hypothesis testing involving a matched data or a paired data, right? So we're going to compare before data with after data. And this is quite different from the previous example, which is question four, in that in question four, we have two independent sample. In question five, in this case, we have the same sample group. However, we collect data from the same sample groups in two different occasions, before an event and after an event. For example, this, this is a sales data. So staff number one, before he or she received training, her sales was $30,000. Now, after she received training, her sales jumped to 40,200. So for each of the staff, we've collected sales data before they received training and then went back and collect the sales data after they have received training. So we did that for each of the sample staff. So in fact, the same staff is being looked at at two different times. So we don't have two separate entities, but we have the same entity being looked at at two different times. And we call this a matched data or a paired data. So we are going to test a hypothesis where we're going to explore if in fact the sales after training is higher than the sales amount before training. We're going to look at if, in fact, the training was effective in improving the sales volume of the employees. So the hypothesis testing involved this question. At 5% significance level, test the hypothesis that there is a significant increase in sales revenue after staff receive training in sales management. So the question therefore is, do you believe training was effective in increasing the sales revenue? So to do this, we're going to go through the same steps as before, the seven steps, hypothesis testing. We go to data and click on data analysis and we're going to choose t-test paired two sample for the means. So this is where the dif distinction lies in the chapter. So in question four, we looked at t-test two sample assuming equal variance. Now we're going to take a look at t-test for a paired two sample for the means. Now, in order to select the data, always have at the back of your mind that uh, this after event, uh, the data set that needs to be selected first. So for the, for the first input box, we select the after event, which in this case is a sales after training. And then the second input box we select before event, which is sales before training. The difference, the hypothesized mean difference will be zero because the assumption, the null hypothesis is that A is equal to B, meaning that sales after training is supposed is expected to be equal to sales before training. 
So that is the null hypothesis. Our labels have to be checked to indicate that the first row has the label for each column. The alpha is 5% as noted in the question at 5% significant level. So that means our alpha should be 5%. Then the output range, we need to pick a location. So I'm going to pick a blank cell to display my results. So as the cursor blinks, I will then have the option to pick any blank area to display my results and click OK. Again, you notice that the decimal points, we have a lot of decimal points and we don't want that. We need to decrease the decimal point to two or three decimal points should be fair enough. So I'm going to highlight these numbers and go to home and click on decrease decimals. Keep clicking until you get to your required two or three decimal point. Do the same for that. It's now increase a little bit. All right, so I have before sales, before sales and after training sales. So the question is, do we think that sales after training is significantly higher than sales before training? Right? So we're comparing these two numbers. Do we think sales after training numbers are significantly more than sales before training? This is going to be one tail test because the decision is to figure out if there's a significant increase. So for that reason, we're going to highlight a segment which looks at the p-value should be one tail, the critical value should also be one tail, and our test value should be 0 0.9, so that. So now we can go ahead and work through the seven steps. So we begin with stating the null and alternative hypothesis. Justify your choice of statistical method. Determine the direction of the tail test. In this case, we are looking at one tail to the right because the question is asking for significant increase. So this is going to be one tail to the right. If it were to be a decrease, then we're looking at one tail to the left. Now, one, now we have to establish the critical value. The critical value here is 1.73. This is what I have right here, 1.73. And then the test value is 0 0.94. And then it, since our test value is less than the critical value, that means the decision will be to accept the null. We do not reject the null. And then finally, we have to interpret, uh, find and interpret the p-value. And the p-value here is 0 0.18. So what is the interpretation of that? That means 18%. If we choose to reject the null, then we're going to incur 18% error in making such decisions. 
and because the p-value is more than the significant level, it means we have to accept the norm. The p-value of 18% compared with the alpha of 5%, the p-value 18% is greater than the significant level or the alpha of 5%. So if that is the case, as we've seen, then the decision will confirm our step six, which means we need to accept the null and do not reject it. We do not reject the null when the p-value is more than the significant level. And essentially that's it for step five. Again, um, I have sample case here for you to take a look at um, how this is all done. Um, and then if you need to have more narratives, again, I have the PowerPoint slides, which gives you a model or give you a template for you to take a look at when filling up these boxes. Right. I hope this is clear.